Well, of course, our temperature has been running way below normal. Uh, normal high should be in the low to mid 60s and nowhere close to that uh, last week or so. You see the northeasterly flow continues, keeping the cold air flowing in from Arkansas and Oklahoma uh, down into our area. And of course, the clouds, if we just had a little sun, that would help things out. But that's just not the case so far. It may see a little bit breaking through tomorrow into Saturday. It's actually warmed up in the west today. They had high temperatures in the 50s, running the 40s right now. Still 62 out toward El Paso, but very cold northeast Texas. Texarkana only reached 31 for their high. That's the current temperature. Never did get above freezing. 29 over toward Little Rock. So I guess it could be worse. Our temperatures are running a little bit colder than yesterday at this time, while the west is a lot warmer. Temperatures running 15 to 20 degrees warmer than last night at this hour. And the cloud cover really having a hard time getting rid of that. Now we may see some breaks here and there coming up tonight, especially up in the lakes where it'll be a little bit colder in the morning. Could see some mid 30s. There. I think it'll stay above freezing. Then the clouds kind of thicken up again a little bit from the southwest working into tomorrow afternoon. Maybe enough of a break or two to allow temperatures to head up to about 50. Now this computer model I think is a little bit too warm. It should be in the 37, 38 range here in the lakes and down toward the triangle 39, 40 likely. In the afternoon tomorrow I think we'll finally hit about 50. Now that may not be the case in the lakes, upper 40s there, but a little bit warmer conditions expected. Now still monitoring all the cold air tomorrow. Uh, the real core of it from the Great Lakes over toward the Northern Plains. It will kind of retreat back to the northeast for us up toward Missouri, but that'll be changing on down the road. Right now the flow is out of the west northwest. We call that zonal flow west to east, and that kind of cuts off the cold air. It doesn't allow it to head really south, more of a west to east motion, drawing it across the Great Lakes, and that's going to change. High pressure around Los Angeles, building northward, ridge of high pressure into Alaska. That's going to push that cold air back down to the south and southeast into the plains beginning over the weekend by Sunday. It's all the way down to central Texas and then to the Gulf of Mexico for the new year and into Tuesday. Now it looks like the bulk of the really cold air, this gray shade, will be off to our northeast because the flow here is not ideal for us to get a big super outbreak like, like we had in 1983, 1989. We had temperatures in the teens uh, down to 10 degrees in some areas. Uh, the flow is northwesterly, not northerly. So uh, that kind of keeps the really cold air pulled up here around Chicago, over toward Iowa, back into Nebraska. There's plenty of cold air up there, obviously. 35 below several locations right now in northwestern Canada heading off toward the southeast. Another perspective on the cold air, see the ridge of high pressure from Canada all the way into the southeast. Here comes the center of the high rolling down to the northern plains. And then notice it kind of turns more toward the east southeast, uh, toward the southeast generally toward Kansas City, St. Louis by Tuesday. So the real core of the coldest air staying to our northeast. That's good news for us, but it's going to be plenty cold as you'll see on our extended forecast coming up. Current temperatures upper 30s along I-20. Here on I-10 we're running about 40, 41. 38 in the morning in the triangle, a couple degrees colder up in the lakes. Again, this computer model I think is really optimistic and saying we're going to have some sun tomorrow. We may see a little bit, but very little. 49 degrees at noon, 52 at 3 o'clock and then holding pretty much at 52 at 7 p.m. Pollen count in pretty good shape. I don't think that's going to be a factor anytime soon there. And for the Gulf of Mexico, water temperature well down to the 50s. Northeasterly winds will continue there. Uh, for the uh, lakes tonight, mostly cloudy. Could see a sprinkle of rain. Look for lows around 36 to 38. Same for the triangle, mostly cloudy skies. Our lows in the upper 30s near 40. And tomorrow, maybe a peak of the sun. The good news, we should be slightly warmer. Upper 40s forecast for the triangle right around 50 tomorrow with mostly cloudy conditions. Your extended forecast, that front comes racing in Sunday evening. So if you're heading out for any activities there for New Year's Eve, it may be in the 50s when you start out, but it could be close to freezing by Monday morning. And we're going to struggle to get above freezing on Tuesday, and lows will be consistently well into the 20s. So that's pretty cold for us. I checked the all-time record for a number of consecutive days at freezing or below for area. It's 11 days straight, 1940. Oh. We may have six or seven straight days, which is pretty unusual. Yes, I was going to say, please, let's not break that record. That's not yeah, what that's we want to break. Yeah, that's a record we don't want. We've had a lot of records broken the last year. We don't want right. to break that record. Not that's another sure. one. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. Get your gloves and hats. And yeah, by the way, no snow or ice expected at this point. That's great news. I guess. For no the snow, snow lovers, they're not too happy about it, though. Mm, okay. All right. Well.